It's, it's already happening. We're not doing it right now. Oh, shit. Did you already start it? <laughs> Brooke, want to see something? Hi. Billboard. Huh? Billboard. I'm going to do a photo in this jersey on a billboard. I was just saying this morning, like, what, we went eight weeks, we had so many people, uh -huh. some lasted 14, some lasted 30, some lasted a year, none have lasted. Jason Earl ain't going anywhere. No, but he didn't, I mean, he You're didn't right. start but, but also, he'll be, yeah, you got Brandon. Yeah, We're going to have to do something. We're going to have to re-up. Done. And you know what I was thinking about the basement gym? Yeah. Maybe I should just rubber mat that and leave it wide open and have somebody come in and teach classes. Because I'm not doing it for me. I'm gonna be here. We need to, Jen was excited. We need to meet. I need to bring her in. Okay. All right. I love you. Have a great day. Say hi to Jen. I'm sure. What up? Hey, what's up, Jen? What, brother? How are you? Great, great. Keep going. What do you want to do? Do you want to do? Okay. Good work. Eight toes to bar. Ten single arm dumbbell hang clean and jerks and 14 calories on the row, bike, or ski. Originally the workout was the row. We don't have a ton of rowers, so some of us are gonna have to use either the ski or the C2 bike, but you will keep the calories. Got it, got enough, so I split it. Everybody solid, worldwide, now I'm trending. I'm the hot topic, touchdown, now I'm winning. How they gon' stop it? We the talk of the town. Look at me now, up in a way, we in a clouds. We said it Nothing like 800 degrees to eight. Feels so good. Why would you want to take a sauna after a workout like that? You want to take an ice bath. What is the importance of starting your day off with something like this? You know, like something that's personal and healthy just to get yeah. yeah. day off. Yeah, I mean, you gotta jumpstart your day, man. Because here's the truth, if, if, if you don't have something to jumpstart your day, half the world's still in bed. It's one degree out and most people are still asleep. And you just think about waking up, let's say 5 a.m., right? Today, today I got up shy of six, went to the seven o'clock class, I alter depending on what's going on with the kids, but I mean, up at five instead of nine, four hours lost times 300 days a year. I don't know what that math is, but it's a lot of damn hours. So, so important to jumpstart your day. And then I, the other part of it too is like, if I'm getting up at 5 a.m., I better make some pretty good choices the night before, right? Or I'm gonna pay for it, hey. no, no. right? If I play, you bet I'm gonna pay dearly but I'm gonna go pay the due and and so you know it does it puts on your mind making good choices the night before and eating and uh, getting to sleep early and just all those things morning I fail at that sometimes you know by the grace of God I get to start again today now people might think of you as just oh it's John Wentworth he sells houses right now what does the influence of training yourself and putting your body to the test how does that influence your business mindset how does that just where does that influence interact with, with 
I mean, I think leadership is, is really what it does. You know, I mean, I can't expect people to, I mean, like we set up that class for everybody at work to go to the gym, right? So that, that leadership model, I mean, I don't need to go to the friggin' office today, but I do from a leadership standpoint. So I think it's just another piece of uh, demonstrating consistency and resolve and grit and doing shit. Like people think I love going to the gym. I enjoy it once I'm there. I don't want to go. I don't want to get up when it's negative three degrees. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't know. I don't. And if I commit to something, it's gonna get done. So you know the the idea of people saying, "Well, I'm gonna. Are you going to the gym tomorrow? I'm gonna try." There's no such thing as try. You either do something or you don't. And I just feel like, and and that's proven it to myself many days too, right? It's not just proving it to other people. I gotta prove it to myself every day as well. We could do a commercial for Life Boost. There you go. It is true though, man. You look at their bean compared to, check this out. I don't know what this is, but something somebody gave me for Christmas. It's supposed to be some organic shit. I don't know if it is or not, but. Black pine contracting. All right, what's shaking? I'm trying to pull statistics on January's last year versus this year as far as home sales. Okay. You know, to Sheplak's point. Right. Tough to find data in the current month. So like the last yeah. update from the Michigan Board of Realtors was November. But December home sales year over year were down 4.6%. January does. I'm curious to know. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's what's neat when you're checking data against something other than ourselves. Right. I mean, we are, like he said, we're up 70%, but what's the market doing? Right. If it's up 100%, then, then, we, then we ain't did nothing. Right. But it's I doubt that's. To, it's tough to find that they say they'll post it February 18th, the statistics. Right. Here comes a boss, fuck. Get ready. Huh? Here comes a boss. Is Jen coming? Yeah. Yeah. I got to be with her attention here. Um, She thinks you're video. Oh, you are. Yeah, good. Get her on there. You said that's the boss coming in? Yeah, that's the boss coming in. Fuck. You better hide, hide everything we bought in the last week. <laughs> hide that blank flooring. <laughs> oh, shit. Happy to see those boots today. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm honoring her by wearing these boots that she bought me for Christmas. Oh, all right. They're comfy. We hid everything. What? We hid all the stuff we'd bought in the last week. Good. <laughs> oh, shoot. This is Jordan. There's no wine over here, by the way. Hi. Hey. <laughs> well, with some random ones. Cool, I like it. It'll be fun. I'm excited. It's going to be cool. We, oh, we, we need to shoot a video, actually, you and I, right now, on my phone. We'll put a jack out of it. Okay. By the way, your contract expires in June. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's use the doggy bowl. Pull pull over there. Huh? Like post up. Cool. Take a couple pounds off me. So this is can't wait to see you tomorrow, right? Hmm? Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Oh, okay. So for the people that registered, correct. Awesome, correct. Are you talking or am I talking? Oui, that's why you're here. One, two, three, go. Hey, what's going on, guys? John Wentworth here. I am with your, um, how you say? <laughs> sommelier. Your sommelier uh, for tomorrow at our VIP event, uh, at Mr. Adam Karf. And first, I want to thank you guys so much for getting registered. Uh, this is just uh, our creative way of, you know, bringing people into our new office and getting to know people on a personal basis. Well, it, but it's a, it's about the health of the people in the organization. And, sure. and. Sure. You got a shower in there too? Yeah. Really? It's already had We're one. We're not doing it right now. Oh, shit. Did you already start it? <laughs> Honey, I've cleaned the entire basement up. Everything's out of there. It's drywalled. <laughs> you already started it? We just we just walled it all off and cleaned it all up. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I didn't even know that. He didn't even know. I didn't even know, do you know when? Do you know when it gets to be done? When you bring your accounting people an estimate of how much the project's going to cost and they tell you yes or no. 
<laughs> Who is that? Right here. Right here. <laughs> oh, now you're giving me puppy dog well, eyes. Yeah, I'm going to be part of this. I also need to make sure that both of you still want me to paycheck, so I'm in a really awkward position. <laughs> <sighs> Shoot. I'm serious. <laughs> It's not funny. You better not be putting down a shower down there right now. <laughs> You're so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> now, can, yeah. now can we kiss and do it? No. Why do you mean? No, because I don't want you to do it. <laughs> Just sit down. I can't wait to market this. Well, I tell you what, Luke, he's something. He's down there on the on his knees on the cement while Taylor's up here just high side and what hanging out. Stairs. Cutting. He's cutting the, the wood for that thing and it's loud as heck. <laughs> he's just down there. <laughs> yeah, on his knees, just <laughs> Boom! <laughs> what you should have done was put it on and tackle it. Just ran I could have done that too. And then faked an arm injury. That's dope. And it's the what? best part is you got a child small, so it should be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> and it's yeah. Wednesday though, is it really? No, no, it's a men's. It does look tiny though. It does look tiny for a. All right, so large. what did you guys come up with? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm I'm contracting a room here. Claire, I'm going on a billboard wearing this. You're going on a billboard wearing a Stafford jersey? Yeah. What if he loses someday? Gives a shit. He's a winner anyway. He left Detroit. It's got to do better than this. Wait, wait, see. Brooke, want to see something? Nice. Billboard. Huh? Billboard. I'm going to do a photo in this jersey on a billboard. Well, Supporting you from back home. Or, yeah. I like it. Yeah. That was my idea. I support him. <laughs> I support you. And I put this jersey on, I started getting sore. <laughs> I feel like Stafford when he was in Detroit all beat up. Luke, he's so good okay. in Detroit, you Nice. That's sick. That's a men's large. Does that not just seem incredibly small? It does seem small. What are you, you, doing? Like, what are you doing down there? Probably there's an elevator. But the elevator only goes to the first floor. So you still oh, have to walk it? up the stairs. <laughs> that is, yeah. that, uh, Adam, that's our next project. Elevator's got to go to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we got to get those over to the billboard company. Yep, and then we got to shoot this today. And I don't know what your idea of this. He had a good one supporting you from back home or something. Yeah, so I wrote down. Oh, see? Came prepared, huh? Um, bro, Damn, bro. We're trying to come up Are you coming with... to CrossFit tomorrow? I feel oh, like you are. We, um, we could, but not tomorrow. We will next it. week. Yeah. One day, you choose a day next week, we'll come. Okay. What is the drop-in? These are just ideas I had last I, I, night. Nothing. Like, uh, uh, we're still rooting for number nine. Great things start in Michigan. Michigan's still, I was trying Did to think of number like, nine over there? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yep. Gotcha. Um, so, I mean, yeah, I like his. Um, well, why did you put that away so quick? Show me again. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, shit, you so rattled them off. <laughs> so, I was still trying to understand. I was still trying to retain who we were talking about. So Michigan sad. is still home. Still rooting for number nine. I like that one was my favorite. Um, but I, I, but I see how you're trying to get the word Michigan in there, right? Right. And I was thinking like, cause I'm thinking like this could go national. Yeah. Well, it should get some news coverage. Right. At least like ABC 12. Right. Yeah. Like a, and we can do like a, we can send out a press release to ABC 12. Home is where, home is where you started? Oh, I just, I was trying to come up with different home things. Great. Um, th oh, I see. Oh. Because the real homes. estate. And, you know, so how about, to... how about my homes ain't shit? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man.